You may notice as you watch these videos when Simon opens up his alpha palette or his material palette that there are a lot of other alphas and materials in there that you don't see in ZBrush by default. Don't forget that at Pixelogic.com in the download section you can download hundreds of materials and alphas that you can load yourself inside ZBrush. Here Simon's going to continue detailing the coat using a custom snakeskin alpha. Again he'll be using the displace brush and the drag rectangle stroke. To give the appearance of a shirt underneath the jacket, first the Damien standard brush is used to create some folds and seams. Then the inflate brush is used to go between those seams to give it a little bit of puffiness. So we've seen this technique used three times on this model already of creasing and then inflating. The first time we saw it was in the lips where he caused some creases and then used the inflate brush between those creases to kind of give that chapped look in the lip area. Again in the shirt and of course right in the eyebrow region he'll do the same thing of creasing and inflating. And before he finishes things up at this stage Simon will just do a little repair work on one of the tentacles again by using the stitch brush and that round alpha.